What is up, participants? Welcome to Leaderboard the Coffee Game. Just here to put together a quick little unboxing video and explain some of the things that I think you should probably know if you're participating in Leaderboard the Coffee Game. First off, to introduce myself, my name is Sunil. I'm one of the co-founders here at Leaderboard the Coffee Game. It's a project I put together with my good buddy Grant. If you don't know Grant, he's kind of a coffee rock star up here in Canada, known for putting on some of the best coffee events in the country. He's an all-around good dude and also has a super adorable dog that I get to spend more time with now that we're working together. So Grant and I started Leaderboard in late 2020, and we pretty much had four goals with this coffee project. Goal number one, we wanted to create a coffee competition that would push the boundaries and challenge coffee professionals and enthusiasts alike. Goal number two, we want to try and break down some of the barriers that existed in coffee competition and coffee education. Goal number three, we wanted it to be fun because what's wrong with fun? And goal number four, we wanted it to be delicious. So with that, let's unbox it. What's inside this thing here? So if you received leaderboard in the mail, you should have received a leaderboard instructions card, a leaderboard scorecard for you to keep track of your answers, a third wave water sachet, a coffee tasting journal to keep track of your notes, and 10 coffees marked only by their number one through 10. So what now? Step number one, taste the coffees. You can taste the coffees in a coffee cupping to keep things nice and consistent. Um, we actually put together a little YouTube guide video on how to cup coffees and why you should cup coffees. If you're curious, that link is in the description below. We also reached out to Ellie Wilson, barista extraordinaire and Canadian AeroPress champ, who put together a video on how to brew coffee using small doses to really take advantage of the 60 grams of coffee that you received in each bag. You can find that link in the description as well. My personal recommendation, do both. I think you're gonna learn something new about the coffee with each different brew method, as some brew methods might highlight different things like the body or the acidity, and each one of those brews will help you piece together the puzzle of the coffee and help you answer the questions for leaderboard. Step number two, take notes. I love taking notes when I'm cupping coffees. I find it forces me to have some concrete thoughts and really solidify what I'm tasting into words. So when we built this journal, we wanted to give you some jumping off points because having concrete thoughts, taking your taste perception and putting it into words can be kind of tricky. So some things to think about when you're trying to take notes. How's the aroma? What's the sweetness like? Is this cup balanced? Is it a high acidity or a low acidity? What's the body like? How's the finish? And are there any flavors that this coffee reminds you of? Also, just wanna give a shout out to the coaching videos. Um, I personally have learned so much when I'm cupping coffees with people who know way more about coffee than I do. And that was kind of the intention with these coaching videos. We wanted to reach out to some of the smartest people we know in coffee and ask them to do a deep dive on a specific topic. So maybe when you're tasting these coffees, throw one of those coaching videos on and hopefully it'll help you see the coffee in a slightly different light than you normally would have. Step number three, fill out the quiz. When you're feeling good about your answers, you can write them down on this card. Step number four, submit online. When you're done and you have your answers ready to go, you can go to www.leaderboard.coffee submit and give us your answers then. This is the metaphorical version of handing in your test to the teacher. The deadline to submit for season two is May 31st, 2021. And since I highly recommend tasting these coffees several times, please don't start tasting May 30th. I'm looking at you, ply. If you're looking for some pro tips from last season's winner, we actually reached out to Jeff Fleming of Apex Coffee who got the top spot for season one and he put together this awesome coaching video that explains some tips on how you can take the top spot for season two and onwards. Step number five, win prizes. Top five scores in leaderboard each season win prizes. First place wins a prize bundle of over $1,000, which is pretty insane. If you get first, you can win a super generous prize bundle from eight ounce coffee a Flair Neo Espresso Maker, a Barazza Encore, a Varia Multi Brewer, a prize bundle from S Pro, and a coffee subscription to the Roasters Pack, a coffee company I've heard some good things about. Step number six, let us know what you think. We have high aspirations and goals for leaderboard coffee, and we think we're onto something here. We want it to be as awesome as possible. 
But the only way we're going to be able to do that is by taking in your feedback. In season one, we had these little tasting cards and you guys told us, hey, I want some more space to take notes. So we scrapped those tasting cards and we brought in the coffee tasting journal. Um, we also heard from some of you guys that you wish that we had more resources uh, about specific topics. So we revamped our whole resources page and we reached out to more coaches for season two. Do you have any other comments, thoughts, suggestions, feedback? We want to hear from you. Slide into our DMs at Leaderboard Coffee on Instagram, or you can find our Contact Us page on our website. And let us know how you think we can make Leaderboard the coffee game better. That's all for me, but thank you, thank you, thank you from the very bottom of my heart for participating in Leaderboard the coffee game. Um, Grant and I have pretty much put our entire careers into specialty coffee, an industry we love so, so much. And Leaderboard Coffee is a manifestation of that love. We're so grateful that you're here participating with us and helping us make it better for future seasons. So to all the participants out there, good luck. You got this. I believe in you. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and I don't think YouTube will legally allow me to upload this video unless I say don't forget to like and subscribe. So don't forget to like and subscribe. But if you do subscribe, you'll be the first one to see all the new coaching videos as they come online. So it sounds like a win if you ask me. Okay.